Today on The Travel Magazine, join us as we sail the Eastern Mediterranean on board the Costa Classica to the romantic and historic Greek Isles. A Costa European cruise is unlike anything you've ever discovered before. Hi, I'm Jake de Boer. And I'm Mika de Boer, and welcome to this edition of the Travel Magazine. Join us today as we sail the Eastern Mediterranean to five select Greek islands discovering the old Europe in Costa's own unique and inviting Italian style. Uh, we have several ships in our fleet and we send them all to Europe for the summer season because our business is so strong there. Um, we have uh, several ships and uh, they go on about 30 different uh, itineraries uh, to over 150 ports of call in Europe and uh, it's quite an extensive program. The home port for our Greek island cruise on board the Costa Classica is Venice, Italy. A stroll through St. Mark's Square and the winding narrow streets, as well as the palazzo line canals plied by gondolas, make Venice one of the most romantic places you will ever visit. As we set sail from Venice, the view from the ship, with the sun setting behind the city, makes this probably one of the most spectacular sights you will ever see. As soon as you get on board the ship, you feel that this, this is made in Italy with, uh, with Italian furniture, Italian decoration, and uh, they made a great use of Italian typical items. We have a lot of uh, decorations uh, as like statues, typical Italian statues and there is, uh, as soon you get in, there is a, a very nice, uh, uh, it's called a bronze, it's uh, something representing the world made by Arnaldo Pomodoro, who is a very important Italian artist. But apart from what you see around, the feeling is, is given by the crew. Uh, as you know, we are an international company, but we want to maintain uh, the Italian spirit in and this is why we have, in the key positions, a lot of, of Italians. Like, for instance, I don't know if you noticed by the accent that I am Italian. I thought you might be. The... Very much so. <laughs> Bari is um, an Italian port, as you know, and uh, we have uh, lots of passengers that are embarking and disembarking. Mm -hmm and we bring our passengers uh, to visit Albero Bello, which is uh, an agriculture town, and uh, it's very well known by the Trulis, which are cylindrical houses. Albero Bello is the only place that there are about 3,000 Trulli all together. These Trulli are typical dwellings. The people that build this town uh, use it this way to build the roof because they don't use mud or any other binding material so that only this way they can close the houses. They are all uh, quite climb uh, painting on the roof because they want to express the religion of the owner of Trollo. In fact, most of them are Catholic symbols. We have the cross, the wooden heart of Virgin Mary, but we have also Jewish symbols and uh, uh, Islamic symbols too. Also because all Trollo is compounded of a single room, so that um, even if before they were used as a house, now most of them are shops.
Mika, I think that's what you should learn to augment our income. Yes, I'm going to do this. Huh? We will be back with more of the Travel Magazine just after this, so stay with us. As you, you can imagine, we have a, a big variety of things to do during the day. There are two pools, and uh, one is called Piazza Trevi, and that's a very typical Italian decor, because uh, there are sculptures and uh, the design is uh, typically Italian. There is a beautiful spa center with the, the fitness room, so if you want to exercise, uh, if you find the time to exercise, about all the other things that are yeah. to do, you can do it. And there is a nice spa center with uh, all therapies that they provide massages and uh, what well, air cuts mm -hmm. or whatever. The Classica is a special uh, ship for me because uh, because I follow the construction. Uh, at the beginning, uh, so I stay 18 months on the shipyard following the uh, construction of this beautiful ship. Uh, the Classica is a ship uh, with up-to-date uh, equipment, up-to-date uh, um, arrangement for safety. I think also the uh, Classica is a super uh, beautiful ship. Our first Greek port of call is Katakalon. The city of Katakalon is a quiet fishing port. You can wander leisurely through the picturesque streets and where Greek hospitality can make any visitor feel right at home. So how do you say in Greece, cheers? Cheers. The port city of Katakolon is the gateway to the town of Olympia, site of the first Olympic Games. It still remains the place with the torches lit for all modern day Olympics. Ancient Olympia is a short drive from Katakolon. Throughout history, Olympia has been a site more than a city. What began as a simple foot race and wrestling match soon evolved into a five-day extravaganza of track and field events. Olympia was primarily a site of worship. You can wander the ruins of the Temple of Zeus and get a real sense of the history that lies here. Of course, uh, we keep and maintain always the Italian style uh, when we talk about food. So you can find here, for instance, a pizzeria. And then we have a lunch which is served either in self service or in the restaurant. Uh, very nice place, very easy going. Almost every night we have a midnight buffet, which is uh, very, very impressive. Um, we've got a, a staff of people taking care of the decorations. They are very, very good, you know, they make uh, sculptures, they make decorations with vegetables and yeah. fruit. 
and they give uh, a very nice uh, decoration to the buffet. Our next port of call is the beautiful island of Santorini. Santorini to me is, uh, and, and also as well for the passengers, is one of the most favorite ones. Uh, one, because as we are arriving, we have this fantastic uh, scenery. And then uh, as we arrive there, the interesting uh, transportation is either by a donkey or a funicular, the cable car. The passengers enjoy very much going up to Pera. And once you're up there, you can enjoy the most fantastic view. The shopping is wonderful there, and of course the food, uh, I would say, in every Greek port that we visit is, is fantastic. Mediterranean pizzas, Mykonos cannot be beat. Mykonos, uh, it's a very well-known island, I would say worldwide. You know, the sun is going down and it's just beautiful, huh? It is. So, don't you think we should do a little bit of shopping or do you just want to wander around? I just would like to wander around. Oh, Jake, I got what? to take a photograph of here. Let me this. Oh, yeah. Okay, but I love it. There it is. You know. Oh, look at the houses. Don't you think we should take some photographs? Yeah. Yeah, I've okay. got it. And you know, they say that the dining is very good here. Look at this. Everybody's oh, yeah. having a nice beer. All the years that we've been doing this, I never realized that the Greek islands would be this nice. Did you? No. Huh? I really loved it. Did you? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, no, I do too. It's uh, very beautiful just to go there during the evening and have passengers on their own visit and explore, giving them some privacy, I would say, if they want to dine outside the vessel or they just want to relax, uh, stroll around uh, Mykonos. It's just a fantastic place. Well, we, we have just two formal nights usually during a week. These formal moments are, let's say, quite important because they keep the traditional charm of a trip on a ship. 
uh, ships they were very famous for this kind of uh, formal feelings uh, around. Our captain uh, welcomes each individual client. They, they have the chance to speak together and uh, it's something very nice. During this evening, uh, we have a formal cocktail party, and uh, then there is a formal dinner. The captain has dinner in the dining room with uh, a beautiful uh, menu. Also, also there, of course, we, we provide typical Italian food, and it is a, a very, very elegant night that can uh, maybe let you remind about uh, the. the old ships, you know, traveling with liners and uh, all what is about the ship's charm. The good thing about uh, roads after two days um, that we've been in tendering roads, we are in port the entire day. According to Greek mythology, Rhodes sprang out of the sea and was offered as a gift by Zeus to Apollo, the sun god. What they like to do is visit in the morning Lindos, which is an hour away from Rhodes, uh, and they can vis uh, visit the Acropolis, and there are some archaeological sites as well there. The beaches for the passengers, uh, it's one of the best ports. They have two fantastic beaches, which are really nice. A little rocky, um, but the sea is beautiful. The location of the ship, uh, it's about five minutes distance walking into the old town, which is uh, very interesting because it's uh, covered with walls, the entire town. The old city is surrounded by walls and there are seven entrances to the old city. Before there were more, but after many years they've closed up some, some entrances and now there are seven uh, main entrances to the old city, to the old town. This is where we call the first fountain because furthermore there is another fountain at the other square. There is a lot of uh, crowd during the night, especially, oh. and it's very nice. And this fountain, yet a lot of people are still taking their pictures here. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is uh, the most impressive entrance, the harbor entrance. That's how we call it. I would say that entertainment is made in two different uh, areas. We have got typical production shows. We have uh, several lounges. So when you go around, you can find the different styles of music, and maybe you find the one you like the best. So you start with uh, maybe very typical something like uh, Walzer or maybe some uh, Italian traditional music or uh, you can find uh, the, the disco which is usually very modern and very noisy, so, so very loud. And that goes up until 3, 3.30 in the morning sometimes, you know, if you can take it. Kifera is our last uh, port of call, a small, very small island, uh, not much to be seen as compared to the other islands that we have visited before. Uh, passengers like it because they, so they can relax and also they have uh, the beach there, which is as we disembark our tenders to the left, you find the beaches and, um, and they enjoy that as well. 
without being a uh, chauvinist about it and without being uh, looking on the local aspect only, I think Kithiraiwan is one of the most beautiful islands in the Mediterranean. It's having a wonderful people on it and with some exceptional culture, something different with the mainland of Greece. Uh, the reason I think that culture has existed in Kithira because uh, a lot of other Western European civilizations went through this island. And I think that make the Kithirians to be more tolerant and more accepted to the Western culture than uh, some other parts of Greece. Costa Classica passengers for a moment for a photo. Like any good thing, our Greek island cruise has come to an end. But we will take with us enough pleasures, treasures and memories to last a lifetime. Well, that's it for this edition of the Travel Magazine. I hope you've enjoyed our Greek island cruise as much as we have. For the Travel Magazine, I'm Jake De Boer. And I'm Mika De Boer, and join us again as we travel the world.